Clark County man who was 19 years old when he shot two people outside his Arkadelphia apartment has had his day in court. In December 2022, Chase Langstaff was living at the Lark Place Apartments in Arkadelphia. On the night of December 30th, 2022, he told jurors that he was upstairs folding his laundry in his apartment when he says he heard a vehicle driving up and down the road. He then heard multiple footsteps coming up the stairs outside of his apartment and he heard someone trying to open his door like jiggling the doorknob so he went to look through his peephole but by that time he didn't see anybody chase langstaff said he went to retrieve his nine millimeter pistol before going to see what was going on when he went outside to see what was going on he could see that his neighbor's door was standing wide open and he could hear loud voices demanding money in his neighbor's apartment so at some point he heard the people getting closer to the door he backed up to his own door and two masked men walked past him and went down the stairs chase langstaff said he didn't know one of the individuals but he did know the second individual and that individual called him by his name chase langstaff told jurors that one of the men pointed a weapon at his head and started to come back up the stairs in his direction at that point he said he closed his eyes and he just started firing now that doesn't really match what police say the evidence is the two individuals that Chase Langstaff shot that day were 16-year-old Aiden Hendricks and 24-year-old Cortez Burton. Langstaff told the jury that one of the men pointed a gun at his head and then started coming back up the stairs, but the evidence showed that the men were actually walking down the stairs and were shot in the back. Also, there was no sign of a weapon anywhere at the scene. Cortez Burton was shot two times. He made it to the getaway car and drove himself to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Aiden Hendricks was shot three times and he died at the bottom of the stairs. Chase Langstaff left his apartment and went and hid out at his mother's house before driving to the Washita River and throwing the weapon in the river. It has never been recovered. During the trial, prosecutors pointed out that, like, how are you going to fire five shots with your eyes closed and land all five of them. Also, because the shell casings were not all in the same place, it looks like Chase Langstaff actually followed the robbers or chased them. He wasn't standing in one place. He didn't stay at the top of the stairs. He was, you know, according to the prosecutors, more like looking for a fight, looking to do this where these people never fired a single shot. Like I said, there was no evidence that they even had a weapon. Another person who lived at the apartment building and was there when this happened said that once the robbers got the money that they were looking for from that apartment, they were running away from the scene. Nevertheless, Chase Langstaff argued that this fell under the stand your ground law that Arkansas has um, and that the shooting was completely justified. Do you feel like the shooting was justified? The jury did return a verdict of guilty of second degree murder, which carries a sentence from six to 30 years in prison, I believe. Chase Langstaff was sentenced to six years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. He will have to serve, I think it said 18 uh, months before he's eligible for parole. Chase Langstaff was not the only person that was arrested as a result of the shooting. His mother, LaRoyce Browning, was also arrested. She was arrested and charged with hindering apprehension or prosecution. At the time of her arrest, she was an employee of the Arkansas Department of Human Services. I don't know if she's still with them. Her charges are still pending. Well, charge. She actually has a jury trial set for December 16th, 2024.